me personally, when I watched it, you know what I'm saying? It really, bro, it really kind of brought tears to my eyes. You know what I'm saying? I'm really, I down now, I almost just got emotional when I just said that. Moolah. We chasing the moolah, we chasing the moolah, we get to the cash. Let's get to the money. We stack it, we flip it, we run it up, yeah. We count every bag. We, we, we chasing the moolah, we chasing the moolah, we get to the cash. Let's get to the money. I done turned up for a check. I done turned up for a bag. Moolah. We chasing the moolah, we chasing the moolah, we get to the cash. Let's get to the money. We stack it, we flip it, we run it up, yeah. We count every bag. We chasing the moolah, we chasing the moolah, we get to the cash. I done turned up for a check, I done turned up for a bag. Moolah, what the business is, YBN, it's your boy J. Moolah, and I'm back with another lit banger, you heard me? Hey, say, man, today, man, your boy just cooling right now, you heard me? I'm right now, I'm on break, you feel me? But I just um recently watched this documentary, you know, and, um, I just won't, I won't, I won't talk to y'all, you know what I'm saying? I won't speak on it, you feel me? And, um, you know, and I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna drop the, um, I'm gonna drop the link in the description to the, uh, for the GoFundMe account for her. But, um, <clears throat> all right, man, let's get right straight into it, you feel me? I, um, uh, like I said, I just watched this documentary on, matter of fact, I'm gonna drop the link to the doc documentary in my description as well. So y'all can go check it out and see, you know what I'm saying, for y'all selves. But like, me personally, when I watched it, you know what I'm saying, it really, bro, it really kind of brought tears to my eyes. You know what I'm saying? I'm really, I down now, I almost just got emotional when I just said that, cause it's like, bro, you can see the hurt in this girl's eyes. You can see the pain this woman that went through. It, the, her name is um Kelly. It's it's the interview with Kelly. Um, I think she's a 21 year old. She lives out in um Los Angeles. You know, and she's staying at fucking tent. Damn, she's staying a fucking tent. That's that's the thing that's really. And she say, um, on there she she talk she talk about like how she don't really she ain't really got like no education, you know what I'm saying? And like how she her whole life she was in foster care, you know, um, and the foster people they was molesting her, they was torturing her. And this woman said one of the foster dudes fucking put screws in her shit, bro. Like, fucking, with, and no, she say with a fucking drill gun, with the, bro. You gotta be a sick motherfucker, son. A sick ass dude, bro. and hold up, hold up, hold up. This not only the fucked up part, but the fucked up part is I think this woman was like, if I'm not, if I'm not wrong, if I'm not mistaken, I want to say she was probably, what, five? Five, maybe? Five, maybe seven, if I'm not sure, you know? Five, maybe seven, but still, the thought, the thought to even just, even, I don't feel like nobody could ever feel this woman pain that this woman went through because she experienced this while she was, you know, a baby, you know? So only imagine, bro. I swear to God, I would do life three times, son. A nigga play with my man, son. A nigga, bitch, you touch my son, my daughter, man. Bitch, I'm going fed. Real talk, I'm going fed. I don't give a fuck, bro. I don't see how I don't see how people get aroused out for messing with little children. Like, what? Like, how the fuck do that get you? I, I, and people be always talking about 
mental health and mental illnesses and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That shit for real. If y'all didn't know, that shit for real, bro. It's some fucked up people in this fucking world. They don't need to be round children. Because they not, they don't have it all up there. You see what I'm saying? They don't have it all. So you just got to watch who you, who you have your children around. You, you got to, you got to motherfucking watch who you have your children around nowadays because people are sick in their head, bro. This woman say, this woman say this man used to rape her to the point she will pass out and she won't even know what she at. Like, she don't even know, like, what's going on or, like, what happened. All she know is she wake up with, like, a puddle of blood. Like, bro, that shit, man, that shit, man, that shit'll make you cry, son. It, it really will. This... That story will really make you cry because that's, man, that shit hurtful. For real. Now, only imagine if that was your little sister or, you know what I'm saying, just anybody close to you, you feel me? Or just somebody, it could be nobody that, it ain't even gotta be close to you. Shit, fuck, anybody. Anybody is just going through a period, you know just anybody simple it don't really it don't matter you know what i'm saying it's just the thought of that shit bro that shit hurt me man to hear this little woman's story like for real and, and kelly was saying that's her name her name is kelly kelly was like um, she ain't got no friends, no family. She don't know her dad. You hear me? She really basically don't have nobody. I'm telling you now, baby. You got somebody. I'm telling you. You for the have, fuck. You for the have the whole fucking world now. Like, I promise you, baby. You for the have the whole world. We all for to be your family. Because I, me personally, I feel your pain. I feel your fucking pain, son. Cause it's a lot of women out here that's been hurt. But they they hide that shit. You know what I'm saying? Women be hiding this shit. Been they got raped by their uncle. You hear me? Been they got raped by a stepdad. And and they'll probably keep that shit a secret till forever. You know what I'm saying? Like Bro, that shit hurting you. Let that shit out. Man, let that shit out, man. That shit hurting you, bro. That shit is hurting you on the inside. That's why it, it's killing her on the inside as well. Because she be saying, Kelly say, she was like, she want to, um, she be want to kill herself. I, I'm really speaking on it because, like, I used to be in that state of mind growing up when I was younger. So that's really kind of why I feel, you know what I'm saying, that, bro, I used to want to, I, I ain't going to lie, I ain't going to say I used to want to, bitch, I used to try to actually kill myself. I'm just going to be real with you because I used to be fucked up mentally. You hear me? I used to be fucked up. But you have to, you, you got to, you got to be strong though mentally. At the same time. Yeah, you could be fucked up, but you got to be strong mentally at the same time. That depression, that shit real, man. That shit is real. All that shit, bro. Mental illness is real. Please stop ignoring it, parents. Please stop ignoring the shit. Please. Fuck. Y'all, oh, ain't nothing wrong with him. Ain't nothing wrong with that boy. He just, no. Ain't no, no. Get that boy some fucking help. This boy got fucking mental fucking problem. He fucked up in the head. He ain't got all his screws. Fuck. He's fucked up. And y'all, and my thing is, 
as a parent, y'all got to stop trying to look over it. You feel me? Stop trying to look over it as if, oh, he just acting out right now. No, no, something is really wrong with a nigga. Nigga ain't, nigga be trick, nigga be, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Niggas be fucked up nowadays and y'all look, oh, he just all right. He just needs some milk. No, bro. So like I say, stop ignoring them signs. If you got, if you, if you, you know what I'm saying? If you with a abusive ass husband and this man raping your daughter, raping your, your, your fuck that, raping your sons, all it, cause bro, like I tell y'all, it's sick motherfuckers in this world, son. Still. Say something. I'm gonna let that shit just go on. Real talk. Cause y'all fucking, I ain't gonna say you fucking children up at an early age. When y'all start doing shit like that, and then she say, she was like, uh, her mama gave up for adoption. You know what I'm saying? And when she gave up for adoption, not adoption, her mama called the, the people on herself. That's, that's what kind of threw me off. Like, but Mentally, she knew she wasn't mentally able and stable to take care of Kelly. So she called the people on herself and the people came and took Kelly. You know what I'm saying? So when that happened, Kelly started jumping from foster home to foster home. And that's when all the molesting and the raping and the torturing, that's when all that shit came about. You know what I'm saying? That's, I hate to say it, bro, but like, Man, this woman, you can tell this woman, that, bro, this woman was prostituting at the age of 11. At the age of 11, this woman on the corner at the age of 11 selling herself. <sighs> 11. Baby, you need to be, um, wait. 11, you supposed to be in the 5th grade? 5th grade getting ready for the 6th grade? Or something like that? Maybe you just, you, you, you barely out of, you still probably in elementary. You probably still in elementary. Y'all don't even think your little coochie didn't develop. Her coochie wasn't even developed before, you know, people started taking advantage of her and shit. So, that's why I'm like, bro, I feel her pain. I feel her story. I feel everything. I want to be a big brother. You hear me? I want to be. Hey, you say you ain't got no people out there, Kelly. If you ever watch this video, I want to be a, I want, I'm your big brother. See, I'm, I'm your brother. Fuck. I'm your brother. You know? Fuck. Shit. Get in touch with me. I'll be your big brother. Cause I feel your pain, bro. I I promise you I do. Then she say she she don't have no education. You heard me? She never been to high school. You heard me? Man, that shit. Man, and the question she was asking, dude, man, this woman asked dude, she say, um, is Mexico another country? That hurt my heart, bro. And she was so for real. She was so for real. Like, she was dead fucking serious. That hurt my heart, man. To see our black women have to go through this. Our young black queens have to go through this. I don't like this shit. I don't respect it. I, me, I don't like molesters, rapists. That shit ain't cool. And I, no means fucking no. Don't force yourself. Don't force entry. None of that shit. It means no. This woman say no. I bet. Simple. But y'all be mentally fucked up. And y'all parents, stop letting that bullshit go on in your household. Fuck. You, he, he, oh, he slapped your ass. So you go in the room and yells, man, look. 
As a man, I had to learn this. You know? Any man that beats women, they're cowards. As a man, I had to learn that. They're fucking cowards, son. You a coward. I guarantee a man that's quick to put his fucking hands on a woman. You a bitch ass little boy. Straight up. You a bitch ass little boy. And, and, and a nigga be knowing this shit. So like I say, ladies, I respect my women. And I want y'all to respect our women, man. So, with this Kelly situation, I'm going to drop the GoFundMe so y'all can go, you know, send Kelly some money. You feel me? You Whatever you can donate. You know what I'm saying? Send it. I'm going to drop the link in the description. You know what I'm saying? And, hey, man, let's, let, let's, let's support this woman, man. Because right now, I feel like she really needs... I would support. This woman be talking about really killing herself. And I know she for real because I used to have them same feelings, baby. So like I said, let's help this woman, man. Hit the fucking link in the description and go find me. And, you know, it's not for me. I didn't start the go find me count or none of that shit. So it's not for me. I'm not collecting no money or I'm not getting shit. I'm just speaking on how I feel about the whole situation. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, make sure y'all like this video. Get this video a thumbs up. Drop down in the comments what y'all think about the Kelly situation. You know what I'm saying? How you feel? Get, let me know how y'all feel about the situation. Because me personally, bro, I won't drop tears for her. You hear me? Because that shit hurtful, son. And I, I don't like to see no no nobody ever. I don't never want to see nobody. That's like wish death on somebody. You hear me? You don't wish death or jail on no fucking body. You hear me? I don't never want to see no woman go through what Kelly went through. So may God bless you, Kelly. My my condolences go out to you. You know, I wish you the best. You feel me? But um, you know, I'm about to wrap this video up. And y'all, y'all just um Make sure y'all subscribe to my channel, you know, and keep rocking with your boy. Go check out some of my other videos. Go check out some of my music, my other music videos, my other pranks, and I have all kinds of things. So y'all just check me out, man. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, you heard me? Because your boy going to keep getting lit. We're going to keep cutting up, and we're going to keep going dumb, you heard me? You know, Mula, Mula. We chasing the moon, we chasing the moon, we get to the cash, get to the money. We stack it, we flip it, we run it up, yeah. We count every bag. Yeah. We chasing the moon, we chasing the moon, we get to the cash, get to the money. I done turned up for a check, I done turned up for a bag. Moon. We chasing the moon, we chasing the moon, we get to the cash, get to the money. We stack it, we flip it, we run it up, yeah. We count every bag. Yeah. We chasing the moon, we chasing the moon, we get to the cash, get to the money. I done turned up for a check, I done turned up for a bag. Moon.